Right? Yeah. I start by learning the shtickle results. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but it talks about a big topic. Also later in the, in the writings of the Baal Shem. The topic has to do with um, Ibur, the idea of impregnation. So there's two things. There's generally something that's called Gilgal. And Gilgal is generally, Gilgal is reincarnation. So normally Gilgal refers to, in general, refers to when a neshama comes out to this person for the first time or a second time or third time. But the neshama that comes down becomes actually the neshama of that person that is coming down into it. So the Gilgal of someone means that that person, it's not you get a Gilgal of someone. It's the person, you, who you are, you're, in, your neshama in a previous life, now becomes your neshama in this life. So it's a scalgal. There's also something that's called an ibur. An ibur is literally a preg- impregnation. What's an ibur? An ibur is sort of a weak call. There's a word that people call a dibuk. You've heard this word dibuk? Okay, so the word dibuk is actually a very, it's not, it's not mentioned in Sifu Kabo until very recently. Um, mm-hmm. the, language, the language of generally for the word dibuk is called a ruach ra. Mm-hmm. Like a, 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 the Gemara mentioned in the Mishnah, and Gittin, there's something like a, called a ruach ra. Some people say it's depression. But ruach ra is like a negative spirit. The first time that the word dibuk actually appears is in Sefer Bris. Sefer Bris is a, a Sefer that was written by, by, uh, a big god of Israel that wrote a, a book. He was lived in Vilna, he was around in Vilna, and he wrote a very interesting sefer. It's about science and philosophy and Kabbalah. Some sefer so that every person has to read it. And a lot of people, Big Sadiqim said, has a very special book. It's a very creative, interesting book, <clears throat> science of hundreds of years ago. And they felt like from Jews should at least know what's going on in this world. So Sefer Abris was a very popular. Now it's out of vogue, no one reads Sefer Abris anymore. But Sefer Abris is the first one that, that coins this term called Dibuk. But in the language of, of Nari, there's no such word. The word Dibuk doesn't appear in the language of Kisya Arizal. It's called the Ruach Ra. And what does that mean? So Dibuk, which is a negative form of Ibor, a negative form of impregnation, means that the person is alive, a person has his own consciousness, his own Neshama. And then it's possible that during his lifetime or her lifetime, there's another Neshama gets attached, like Dovuk becomes attached to this person for a short period of time and overwhelms the consciousness and the, and the mindset of the person. And the person feels completely overwhelmed by a spirit, something that's not, not them. This is something that's very negative, obviously. If it's, even if it's possible, it's, you know, most times a deep book is probably uh, psychological and people need to psychological help. You know, there's someone's came to Chai Brisker. It's not what I want to talk about. Someone's came to Chai Brisker and told them there was a woman who said that she has a deep book. And Bris came to Chaim for a for Dibuk. Chaim was not the right person to go for a Dibuk. Chaim sized up this woman and said that, uh, yeah, it's, it's a true, true thing. You have a very strong Dibuk. And um, that time they just they just came out with the alarm box. It was the beginning of the alarm box. So he, she, Chaim gave her an alarm clock and told her that you go to sleep very peacefully tonight. And if in the middle of the night you hear a loud sound coming out of this, this gadget, you should know that's the sound of the Dibuk leaving you. Mm. So he set the alarm for 2 a.m. and she went to sleep very peaceful. And 2 a.m. the alarm clock went off and she was healed from her Dibuk. So, okay, so that's uh, usually it's a, a psychological issue. It's not, uh, it's not a real issue to the person that's a Dibuk because it's a very, it's a very serious thing. They say the name from Rahim Velozhin actually it says that there come a time that even Dibuks are not going to happen. We're going to be in such a low madrega that even no, negative no. ruchni is well, not happening. Wow. Yeah, right, that's right. That's what I'm saying. The is spiritual. No, so it, it's, it's a spiritual. A, it could be a spiritual. 99% of the time, it's a physical problem. It's possible, very, very rarely, that the neshama, we have to, I don't, I don't want to talk about it, but it has to do with the neshama doesn't have any, any, any levushim and it needs some type of tikkun. It's possible. And Chai Vital actually writes about this in Kisari. He talks about this, uh, about different stories where they came to Arizal, came to a person, there was a person that had a dibuk or some type of ibul, uh, ibul like a negative impregnation. And therefore, Chai the Arizal had different techniques how to get the, get the neshama out of this. And this person, but it's not a, it's not a, it's not a usual thing. This is negative. I don't want to talk about the negative. The positive element of this, the positive element of this, is an ibulatoyf. The regulation for positive. The regulation for positive means 
And that the Lajan of Dari in, in Shahar Gagulim is that it's, it's basically like a form of, a form of like a guest, like it's a, it's a, it's a oirach that comes, comes to you. And uh, this neshama that, that, that connects with you is this aber with you, like an impregnation. Um, the reason why it's used like the word of impregnation of Ibor is just like in, in, uh, in like a person, a woman that's, that's, preg that's pregnant. The woman that's pregnant has another child within her, but she doesn't become the other child. She's carrying another child, but she's still herself, right? The same thing also with impregnation. You're still yourself, who you are. You're just being impregnated with someone else's neshama, someone else's soul, someone else's consciousness. Um, the basic difference between Ibor Latoy Valera for a positive Ibor, or negative Ibor, is that a negative Ibor, which is what we'll call the word Dibor, is when the soul takes the person over, which is the idea of Klipa. It's canceling, it's canceling out the person. Ibor Latoy is when you feel like an extra dosage of spiritual. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, exactly. You feel like a, like a shefa, like a new type of energy in your body, but it's, it's, not, it's not overwhelming. It's not that you feel like I'm overwhelmed with something. No, it's actually you feel like you're what you normally think. Now you think even clearer. What you normally feel now you feel even clearer. So something, and this is this is what the, this is what they're this is what the whole tale is about in, in the writings of Dari. So the the Dari is also going to talk about something that's called the Ibor. Well, Shem is going to talk about a little bit more about Stafka Sufi Rucha, which is the idea of connecting to the Shams of Sadikim, what this what's, what this process is. But it, the, what the, the way Dari frames it is has to do with the story of this week's parsha and parsha Shlach. So the story is like this. And let's read from the, from the himself. So it's uh, Shara Psukim. Parsha Shlach Lecha. Shlach Lecha Moshe Misur of Saras Kahani. We'll read very quickly because it's not actually complicated, this Shtikon. Inyam Ragam Nesib Tzil Chosom. It's by Hayt and Parsha Shmois. Yaakov Lecha Nesam Rekhen. So he's not going to talk about the, what is the Meraglim, but he's, going to, he's just going to say well, that's that very small problem for him. Is Alzal Posik Ve'Yemer Lehem Yosef Meraglim Atem Shirem Is Lehem Shehem Yir Meraglim Eretz Yisrael. Now, when Yosef told the brothers that you are Meraglim, so Yosef is actually telling him that you are going to eventually be become Meraglim. You're eventually going to become the spies. Avi Yeshu Nasi Ephraim Ben Ben Yosef Atzer Lo Yir Meraglim Yeshua, who is the Nasi Ephraim Ben Yosef. Yeshua comes from Ephraim, who's the child of Yosef. He's not going to be a Barak, right? Because he used to say, his brothers, you're going to be the Barak, but I'm not going to be a Barak. By the end of the day, he's going to be a Barak. He's going to be a Barak. He's going to be a Barak. Over there, it says in the Posse, Rashi, Alpha Yisrael, the Kan Hoysev B'nai Yisrael. I'm a Kulam Anashim Rashi B'nai Yisrael. Here it says the word that they're actually the, the, the Russian, the, the heads of the B'nai Yisrael. So the reason I want to say why that over here doesn't mention the idea that they're the Russian and B'nai Yisrael. He knew. That uh, Hashem wanted it to mitigate the, the, the possibility of the Miraglam. I see why the Miraglam had this Miyad Chet, this Miyad Ra, that, that they, to mitigate it. So therefore, he sent them in this process. That in order for the Miraglim to have some type of extra koyach, that when they go into Eretz Yisrael, there was a possibility already that we also see from the name from the names of the Miraglim. The Gemara is doyish the names, right? That their names represent sasri, that they represent something that's something against, that there's something negative in their names. So the Hashem wanted that they should go in, into Eretz Yisrael, they should have something an extra dosage of quality, positive quality that they wouldn't they wouldn't necessarily. Uh, sin. So, so what happened was is that when Shama Sashot them Atzma Achi Yosef and Kavim Bnei Yisrael Mamish Yisabu Beside the Ibur Elam Raglan. So therefore, what happened was was that there was an Ibur of the Neshamas. The, the souls were impregnated. The soul of Reuven was impregnated in Nasi Bnei Reuven. The soul of Shimon was impregnated in Nasi Bnei Shimon. Right. So the Neshamas himself. So even though they were particular Merag, they were particular people lived you know hundreds of years later, but they had an Ibur of Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, etc. Not Levi, but they had the they had an Ibur of the Shvatim. Dafka for the Shlichas? Dafka for the Shlichas. That's what I said, because, because the, the idea of the Ibur is for a particular period of time. And there's, there's, a, there's a long conversation in Shari Gugulam that Rizal talks about whether, whether Ibur is something you can work on receiving or it's a gift. Is it something that you can, you can achieve? That's, that's the difference from Shabbos and Yom Tov. 
Yeah, exactly. In a way, yes, correct. You should look at Mishnah and say right. That's not yeah, right. Or one is a gift. So that, that, that's a shaila. Is it something you can work on? And there's, there's a lashon of the Alter Rebbe in Tanya where he says, Ulai, um, Ulai have Ulai Yisrael Ruch Lamarim, and we have an Ibor of Nishmas Tzadikim. It's possible that a person can like really desire it. We see soon also in the language of these that it's maybe possible. By the way, you can have an Ibor from your own Nisham also. You can have an Ibor from your own Nisham because let's say in your past life. Let's say you work because every life is every subsequent life, and at the Gilgal, you're working on something else, another quality in, in Nefesh. Let's say in your past life, you worked out this particular midah very well. And now, in this life, you're struggling with this midah at this particular time. It's possible that you get an Ibra from your own self, from your own past life that's already Matukim, becomes this Abra in you. It can also be Ibra Machayim. You can actually have an Ibra of a person that's alive. If you attach yourself very strongly to somebody, when it talks about Dovin Yarinasan, so that is a Sen Shari Gilgulim, it's also it's Ibra. The dove and Yenison was all connected to each other. That the nefesh, the the the, the dove and nefesh, the dove and Yenison is actually was that they had an ebra of each other. They were so connected that they asked, they started feeling each other. It's what we would call in like in a modern, uh, a modern version of like some type of empathetic, like you know, I don't know, it's probably a fancy word for this, but some type of deep level of, of empathy that you actually enter into the other person when you feel so connected to the other person, you're gonna, and you can enter into the other person, into their worldview, or into their, into their consciousness, that the other person can start feeling that as well, and therefore they can work something out stronger. You know, it's, it's very simple. You know, let's say you're having a- uh, Twins, uh, twins uh, No, but no, yeah, not even twins. Let's say somebody going through very, something very hard, yeah? And you talk to a friend of you that's really, really close to you, right? And the person is wiser in this particular aspect in life. And somehow by, by just talking to the person, just by sharing your life with this other person, even the person doesn't tell you anything, all of a sudden you're, you're gaining clarity, right? What, what's actually happening is you're, you're having some type of ibor of that person's kaya mm chaseichel, -hmm. so therefore that's allowing you to be in that person's presence when you feel really deeply connected, that you can actually understand your issue better. So, connecting to a tzaddik. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're going to talk about the tzaddik. Say, but, that's, but that can happen even with two people. That's what the Pasuk saying with Dami Yonason. When there's very, very strong level of empathy and, and sympathy with another person, you can actually misaber in them. They can misaber in you. So here was there was a, there was an ibor of of the of the shvatim. That's what the Rizal says. Even though that worked this way, but it, unfortunately it didn't work out and didn't really help. Which is by the The pasuk says that they just like they went, they came. They also went with bad intentions and they came with bad intentions. What does it mean the Pasik say? It means Haim Haim Atsomashvatim and Rikraim Rashim and Bene Yisol Mamash. When it says Rasha Bene Yisol, it means literally they were the Rasha Bene Yisol. It was Reuven Shimon Lady Yehuda. So even though they went as a particular people, they had an Ibur. So the Shem is saying that when they're going to go there to Saul, if they go with the right intention, <laughs> like because they had that Ibr, if they would have gone with the right intention, they would have actually made a king in Eretz Yisrael. They would have actually acquired Eretz Yisrael. How do they acquire Eretz Yisrael? Because it actually is Reuben, Shimon, Levi, Yudah, not just as their Shliach, as Reuben, as the Shliach of the Shev that Reuben makes, acquires Reuben. But Reuben literally takes his Chelek in Eretz Yisrael, and Shimon takes his Chelek in Eretz Yisrael. That's what the Apostle says, Viz Chazaktem, Lekachtem, right? The Apostle says they should make a Chazaka. That's what the Targum translates. The Targum Yerunison says that does, this Chazak doesn't mean you should become strong. You should actually make a Chazaka. You should make a Chazaka. What, it means, what that means is that they should acquire the land. The, 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 the intention of, of, of Moshe Rabbeinu was that they should enter to Israel to acquire the land. Without conquest. Without conquest. Correct. Correct. That's, that's, another, that's another, another conversation. But they, they, right. they, were, they were to enter to Israel through Los Roisoy, which is through seeing it. Which is the, the Madrega of Moshe. Moshe is the Gedder of Ria. That's why Moshe sees Eretz Yisrael, right? But at the end of Moshe's life, he doesn't enter Eretz Yisrael. So Los Roisoy is like the Surah of Achon Achenech that's connected with eyes. So they were actually they were asked to go into the Eretz Yisrael to acquire it through sight. Instead of acquiring through sight, which was they were, they were, they were really, they were Los Roisoy, they actually, but well, that's the people in name, that's something else, but they actually, they went, they became a Raglan, which is Regal. Which is feet. What is it that you have a regal? A regal is actually like we call like boots on the ground. They went, they they were they were supposed to enter its soul through their vision, through their sight, to acquire its soul through sight, like Moshe Rabbeinu. And if they were acquired its soul through sight, 
then there's no there's no malchava, there's no war, right? If you if theoretically in Allah, there's a concept we don't we don't bask like this, right? But right? If you see something, you two people are walking down the street, they see an ownerless object, one person sees it. The other person says, do me a favor, pick it up, right? Real Mitzia, the guy picks it up. Whoever picks up the object, that's the person that's kind of the object. You have to, you have to pick up the object to kind of. You see it first, you say, oh, I saw it first. It doesn't mean anything. But in the subtle level, in the, in the DACA sticker level, the reason that, that doesn't happen is because, because we live in a very materialistic world that if you're holding something in your hand, that means it's yours. But if we were living on a more refined world, if you see something, you made a connection with it. That's where it would become yours. Moshe Rabbeinu lived on a much subtle level. So therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu's Riyah is kind of. So the Riyah is Moshe. When Moshe sees the Eretz Yisrael at the end of his life, that's why he makes a Kenyan Eretz So Moshe sends these people, losses Eretz Yisrael, to go make a Kenyan, to make to acquire Eretz Yisrael through sight. If they acquire through sight, there's no Mohammed. And that's the, that's that's messianic. That's, there's, no, there's no war, there's no bloodshed, and they enter Eretz Yisrael, and that's the end of history. But the problem is that they didn't go with that, but which means they went through their mouth instead of their eyes, which means they didn't do that uh, uh, through sight, but they actually went through their feet. And feet is connected more with the mouth. I don't want to get into the old details, but it, the, sh, the shmi and, and ria and ria, seeing is you see the claw and then the prophet. Right, when you look at something, yeah. when you first see something, you first see the general, and then you hone in your attention, you see the specific, specific things. But Shmia, hearing is actually the opposite. Shmia works from Pratim to Aklav. How do you hear? You hear one word, one word, 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 then it becomes a cloud. So you're going from the details to the collective, to the, to the principle. So Shmia and Ria is actually the opposite. Ria is the Zakinian that's cloud, and then it includes all the Pratim. Here you're taking the Pratim and drawing them into the cloud. If you're taking the Pratim and drawing them into the cloud, that's Pia, that's connected to the world of Shmia. That's like Rego. If you're walking to someplace, if I, you walk from here to here, you walk first one step, one step, one step, and then you could say, I walk from here to here. So first is a bunch of little protim, and then you could say, I just walk this one mile. That is the problem with the, with the miraculum is that which is, means that they, they try to go through the, through the regal. But Moshe Rabbeinu's intention of them to enter into soul was actually to go through the level of sight, to, 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 to live in a much more subtle, deeper level. So Levi doesn't get a chelik in Eretz Yisrael, right? Levi doesn't have a portion in Eretz Yisrael, so he doesn't, he doesn't have to be misaber. Eretz Yisrael is anyways divided into 12, right? How do you divide 12? Yosef gets two chelik in Menashe and Ephraim. But Menashe and Ephraim, misaber Nishra says, but the miracle of Menasha, it Yosef was Miss Aber came into a pregnancy. How do we know this? Because the person says, Lemate Yosef, Lemate Menasha. When it comes to, 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 to Lemate, Lemate Yosef, Lemate, to, to the Shevet of Menasha, it says, Lemate Yosef, Lemate Menasha, this is, this, is the, this is going to be the person that's going to enter its soul, to be the miracle. When it comes to the Shevet, to, to Yeshua Benun, it just says, Lemate Ephraim, Yeshua Benun. How it doesn't say Lamate Yosef Lamate Ephraim. Doesn't say that only by Manasha. Why? Because every place generally, the the generally and he calls a oh, generally Ephraim comes before Manasha. He calls a Yachas the Yosef Manasha. But over here it says only by Manasha it says Lamate Yosef Lamate Manasha. Right? Why does it do that? Because that's saying that Yosef was Miss Aber, impre- was and came impregnated with. The head of the of the shevet that went for Menashe. So now Ephraim, Nisha Yeshua Miragel Shevet Ephraim, Beli Ibra Nishma Shum Shevet. So now we understand why why the Moshe Rabbeinu daven only for Yeshua. If Moshe Rabbeinu would daven because he said something was wrong, so she's not for everybody. He says Yeshua Hashem Hashem Yeshua Menatzes Hashem, 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 Hashem should protect you from the Eitz of Miragel. He gives him, he adds a, a yud, he adds an extra part to his name. But if he's if Moshe Rabbeinu is sending the miraculum, sending these, these, these people to go into Israel, and he knows something is wrong, he should down for all of them. The answer is because he doesn't want to have to down for all of them because they all have an Ibur of one of the Shvatim. He says, Reuven has an Ibur. Shimon has an Ibur. Yisachar has They all have an Ibur. Menashe has an Ibur of Yosef. The only one that doesn't have an Ibur is Yeshua. Because if Yosef just went into the Menashe, to shave the Menashe, 
So if Yosef wanted to be shaved Menashe, he's from Shaver of Ephraim. He doesn't have an Ibu of, of one of the Shvatim. Right? One, one of the, the twins. Number one, they both have Yosef. You can't have a two Ibu. No, no, the Ibu, the Ibu means that Yosef is in Saber in, 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 in Ephraim. Yosef was in Saber in Menashe. I mean, you could, but that's not the way it works. Because you say that the whole Reuven was a Saber in the Shaver of Reuven, the, the, the head of the, uh, the head of the, the head of the Shaver Reuven. The whole of Shimon entered Shimon. The whole of Yosef entered the Menashe. Now Ephraim is left without an Ibur, so that's why Yosef, that's why my Shav and Davin sir. Why? He davens from Yeshua because he says Yeshua is left unprotected. He doesn't have he doesn't have any of the Shvatim. So therefore Moshe Shavin is Davins from especially, and that's that's what he's giving. He's giving that extra. Yeah. The reason why he didn't daven with the other ones is because out to what the hero that they had the, no, no, the, the, they, they all they, they had this, they had this. They had protection. They had Ru- Reuven had Reuven. Shimon had Shimon. You're saying he knew something was wrong. He knew something was wrong. No, but he said that's what that result started in the written. beginning. That result started in the beginning. He said, Hashem knew that the, the Miragam were born with a negative intention. So therefore, therefore, the way it was structured was, okay, Reuven is talking to Shavit, Reuven is going with the wrong intention. What we're going to do is, the Reuven of the shift of the, the chums of, of, of Yaakov are actually being misabber them, and they're going to make sure they're going to give them more koyach that they're not going to have. They still have free choice. Still have free choice. Yeshua, Yeshua is going unprotected. I'm going to give him a little more protection. He still has free choice. It's still up to his prayer. But he's going to be equal protected like the other shot. That's it. Yeah. So So he says, the Arizal says a little bit deeper. What does it mean that he that he davened for Rosh Hashanah? What does it mean? He actually draw down, Moshe was the Shevet Levi. So he drew down Levi. Really, Moshe can go for himself, but because he's from Shevet Levi, and he transfers that Koyach that he gets from Koyach from Shevet Levi, he gives it over to Yeshua. Because uh, it's like his child. Because his, his student is like his child. So he can transfer that koyach. Okay, that's what he says. Um, so he says, okay, let's skip to the next one. Let's just However, when they went into they went into the soul, they they changed their mind. They had a negative intention. Therefore, the neshamas and the mesaber left them. Because it's known that the Arizal writes in Shadi Gulim, right? Chaim Tal's calling that. He's only saying that that it's known that a neshama that that becomes a begilgul does not leave a person. Like in other words, if you if you are born with this neshama that was misgalgal in you, and it could be, the reason said it could be even more than one neshama. It could be a, a chibur of different neshamas. Let's say a, a combination of two, three neshamas. The reason used to tell us, Talmud, your neshama is like the mission of Malach, and this used to give different examples of of, of different chibur and different neshamas. One in Talmud, he says you don't like you don't like pilpul because in your past life you're a big you're a big paisik, That's why you have Kabbalah today. So everyone was figured out because everyone had to do everyone had to do the things, but it's 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 combination of neshamas. But the combination of your neshamas that constitutes your neshama can be many different neshamas. But that is forever. You don't lose that neshama. You can you could you could. There is also says it's a possibility either through kas, the person becomes really angry. You can lose a neshama. It actually says in the zayar. And what happens then is another question because how do you survive after after that? Or a person can be very very sick. And and you actually see this sometimes people go are, are very sick and then they, when they wake up out of their sickness whatever that like a near death experience or whatever they some like real intense sick, sickness and they come out and they're a different person there's all of a sudden I know, you know a lot of people are very great all of a sudden they're very nice people or the opposite something shifts something spiritually shifts and the reason says it's possible because this person was really the neshama really that was without you know already reached its tikkun and because of certain 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 schusim, the neshama a new neshama comes out of this world. Into this person, and therefore the person really has another, on a very deep level, as another nisham. But that's generally not not the case, right? So the nisham that you're born with is nisham. Ibor, ibor is different. Avalach nasa beside the ibor mislekes amenu kasher chadam chayta. The minute a person sins, the ibor leaves leaves him. Like the pasuk says, "Sooner my lie on nashim or shay mehela." 
Kisar Tzilu Malayim, this idea of, of, of that the neshama that's misaber in you, let's say the neshama already is of a tzaddik, someone that's perfected, or your own previous neshama that existed in a previous life, that already worked out its tikkun, it's already in a perfect state. Now it's entering into your body because you're struggling with something. Right, so what is the Ibra? Let's say you're struggling with an issue that in a past life we worked out already, but now you're, you don't have the, the acumen, you don't have the intelligence, you don't have the capacity to really figure out this issue. And you don't, I need, I need something, I need, I need Ruach Mamarim, I need some type of Siat and Tishmai to really figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. It's possible that the Neshama of your past life that's already Metukin will become into an Ibra. Again, it doesn't overtake you like a Tibuk, doesn't overwhelm you. You just all of a sudden feel like a certain level of like lightness, like there's something. Uh, different, you're di- you're walking around differently. You're thinking a little differently. You're 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 feeling a little differently, and then it leaves. And then you say like, what just happened? Like, I just for a few days, I really felt really on a, on a good, very high place, and now I'm back to, to, to the same place that I was. It's possible you had an ebor. It's possible you had an ebor. But the way a person loses the ebor intention it means usually the neshama is misaber in you until you reach the t- the tikkun that you needed to reach. Let's say you're struggling with this issue, the neshama that's connected to you will be misaber within you for the, a certain period of time. So you, you, you work through the issue, now go back to your regular life. Hey, now you, you're ready in your place. But what happens if you intentionally do something negative? Then the neshama doesn't want to have anything to do with that. What is it? What is it? It didn't, it didn't buy, it didn't, it's a guest. It's like if you, treat, you mistreat a guest in your home, the guest, the guest leaves. So the guest, so this is what the neshama leaves. So that's why the, the Darizal says, if a person does something negative, the neshama tracks a chabla. The neshama is going to leave. So therefore, the moment they, they, um, they decided that they're no longer going to fulfill this out, this, this task of making a kinyan in Eretz Yisrael to rear. They're not going to go into Eretz Yisrael that way. That's why you left. And therefore, that their neshama is left. Okay. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Turn turn to the next page. It's it's you can read later on. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. Gamza Omer va Abdi call of Akev Hoya Ruach Acheres Yimit. Yeah. See the second paragraph. That 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 it speaks about call of it says that he was a Ruach Acheres Yimit. He had a, a different a different quality. Because all the Shatim had a Ruach Acheres, really. All the Shatim had a higher spirit. That's the Ruach Acheres. They, they, they were functioning from a different place. But Therefore, it was always with him. When it says, The Torah is really not saying that something was special about Yehuda. About the about Kalav and Yifun of L'shev and Yehuda, saying really everyone had a ruach acheres. They all went with something with a, an extra measure of of ibur. They all went that way. But you but Kalav never lost it. Why did Kalav lose it? But Tamla Eilah Shnayim Hayu. Why was it that way? Kili Yeshua Eilat Filus Moshe, because Yeshua had the Filus Moshe. Mikiyasa Shem Azabik Gvali Yinatik Menu, and it was actually a kavua. Yeshua actually Moshe made him change his name. See, so by changing his name, which was the, the Rizal says was the way through which that he got, got the Ibur, he got something extra that the other shot, the other, the other, the other Bragan didn't get. And he had a name that didn't change. So therefore that was good. And Kalariv Tfila was And therefore he was the Shatra Kivra of this. He went to the he went he went to the to the to to, to Mispalo, by the Kiva Ovis, he went to Davin by in Hevron, and because he went to Davin in Hevron, that Ibu did not leave him. Now, this, this, is, this is the opening of what the Malshanta wants to say. So, something about Davining by the Kiva Ovis, you have to see what, is, what actually happens when you Davin in Kiva Tzavikim. Is anything that happens that happens in Kiva Tzavikim, and then we'll, we'll talk about this quickly. So, let's see what the Malshanta writes. And this is from the Moira Naim. And uh, This is the only mocker in Chazal. 
You don't have it? Could somebody shlach the first one? Yeah. So it says that uh, so Rashi brings down, it's the Rashi brings down, it's the Gemara inside. The Gemara says that he was, he was, he went to the Nishtab of Kivu He went to do Ishtabkos to prostrate himself on the Kivu Tzadikim by the, by the Hobbes. This is, this is actually the only Mark in Chazal for this idea. I mean, later we have some sources for this in Daven. But in Chazal, this is the only place we see that someone's going to Daven by Kivu Hobbes. To Daven by Kivu Hobbes. To Daven by Okay, this is going to go, it's going to go straight to a very d- deep thing. And we talked about a little on Shulas. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what he says. I'll just read the words, no one understands what it is. When a person learns the words of a Tana or a Chacham, from the early from the from Chazal, from the earlier sages. Shadavar hu achayis amoyich shaloi. That this thing is the chayis v'amoyich shaloi. This idea that this person expressed, that's his chayis. That's his chayis as moyich. So if you're learning, you're saying over a teaching, let's say for Rabbi Akiva, Amr Rabbi Akiva, Sheikh in Israel, whatever you're, you're quoting at the Torah from Rabbi Akiva, the the chayis. The Chayis of Moichen, I just want to say that in the Torah Sarizal, the word always that Sarizal uses is Moichen. In the Torah Sarizal, in, 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 in the Balsham, he uses the word Chayis. But they're talking about the same thing. So that if the, 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 the Arizal calls it Moichen. He says, Moichen the Gadas, Moichen Yom Shachas, Moichen. What is it? What are we, what are we talking about? We're talking about, like, uh, uh, we're not talking about Moichen intelligence, not, and not an intellect. It's, it's energetic. It's, huh? Energetic, yeah, it's an energetic, but it's a, it, it, in the Torah uh, that reads the way he frames it is because everything's like more, I want to say, left brain, but like very uh, st- structured, cerebral, very cerebral, exactly, very good, very good. It's very cerebral, so therefore, to the in the in the eyes of the Ari, when he wants it's a word, obviously, it's not, it's not, we're just explaining it's a mushroom, right? When he wants to explain like a shefa that's coming down, he'll use the word moichen, like a new shefa moichen. Uh, but it's not really a shefa moichen. Moichen can mean in the Balshamtu, which is much less cerebral, it's much more like a heart space. He'll say it's it's a chayas. So it, it's really talking about the, like the, the liveliness, the aliveness of a person. So it's not sichlius. Not sichlius. Exactly. You could have a dry sichl. It's not talking about logic. It's, no, not talking about logic. Where sichlius comes out. It's, exactly. Not it's the mucker. It's not intelligence. It's not intelligence. Exactly. It's not a sichl. It's the mucker. It's the the place where the zam the zamshachas amoichen, where the moichen comes out from. Exactly. It's the place where things arise from. It gives life. It gives vitality. It's called kind of super consciousness. Yeah, it's super conscious. You can call it many different words. Exactly. Yeah, source. Shoyish. Yeah, shoyish, many, many different words. But they're, they're saying the same thing. That's like the, in the Balsham plays with these words. He means that they, they mean the same thing. They're interchangeable. In Dari, you don't have the word chayis so much. It's really moichen. Like moichen is like, it's, it's, it's called summer. It's, like, it's kelun levushin. Moichen. Oyer is moichen. Like moichen. Moichen is like the highest form of revelation of light. Would be moichen. It's like soil. You could, you could, it, could be mal, it doesn't matter. Every, everything, every, everything has a moichen. Everything has a moichen. Anything that, that has a chayes is the moichen. When something is, that's why the, the, the Arizal uses this lashon of Chazal, in Kishel that, that there's, that you need moichen to, to, for the aver to be a chai, you need moichen. For the, in order for it to be yichud, you need moichen. If a person wants to connect to someone, you need moichen. Without moichen, so, what is he talking about? He's not talking about, he's talking about it has to be a chai. So, if I'm talking to you and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really interested in you, I'm not connecting. But if I'm alive, I'm connecting with you. So the moich, the, 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 the aliveness of the person that creates the, the possibility of the unity, the possibility of the shafa. So when we're learning something, let's say we learn someone says something. Any, any, any memra of Chazal that someone said. When, when, this, when this Torah was said, right, there was, there was a Nevi'a Samoichen, there was, there was a Kiva, he was a person of Rekiva, and he had a chayis. He had moichen, and he was alive, and he was a living being, and he expressed his li- aliveness in this teaching, right? Like every person, you express your aliveness and what you do and how you act and how you manifest and you bring yourself into this world. But once something is already revealed in this world, it almost becomes dead. I was going to think the opposite. It's no, it, it could be alive. Let's, let's think about it. Yeah. It could be alive if there's a recipient that's hearing those words. Otherwise, it's nothing. Otherwise, it's nothing. In other words, if, 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 if you have letters on a page, there's no makabo. If someone prints a, a safer, I'll be a lacha, someone prints a safer, 
and no one ever looked at the Sefer. Sefer doesn't have Kedusha. Shaila is a fear, whatever, it could be Kavana, whatever, but real strict Allah doesn't have, doesn't have Kedusha. Why? Because the, the letters on the page, there's, there's something that there is, that Hashem talks about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, sweetening of, of judgment. And, uh, and his, his, I'm talking about, he says from the word Ksav. And Ksav is, is Keser, is, is Keser, Toth, Bina, but, but he says that if you look at a page, I'm, no, I'm talking about Din. To sweeten judgment, he says, is by reading. Reading the Oasis Atoyer. Why? Because the Oasis Atoyer themselves, when you look at the letters on the page, they're dead. Before you read them. When you're starting to read them, all of a sudden the letter Vav is now connected to you, to I'm. But Yalu, being the negative of at Hevron, if I'm just looking at the letters himself, or I'm not looking at the letters, the letters are sitting on the page. So Vav, Yul, Lam, and I am just sitting on the page. Each one's relaxed on his own. There's no highs. When I read this letter, all of a sudden I'm a chab of these letters into one word. I just gave chayas. I just gave aliveness. Now it's just my yalu. Now I look at those letters that are dry and it's unthinkable. It's actually it, I'm aliving it. I'm aliving it. So the talking about din. That's why the entire sachsid is there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a there was an emphasis in entire sabbashem. Like you want to do I'm talking about din. Read to them. Who are you read to them? What are you a person who's saying to them? What are you doing? You're not even davening. Just read to them. Say to them. You know. Uh, me Malik of Yashem, Yishmiya called to Lasse. If you want to Malik to Hashem, you want to break all the thugs that didn't, Yishmiya called to Lasse. Say the whole Tilum. Why are you doing well, what's Tilum have to do with this? If you look at if you look at the, the I'm talking about Din, and the Mamtik Din, and according to that reason, there's always Kavanas, Yechudim, Yachin, this name or that name. And Lasse doesn't want to speak Tilum. What's the Kavana? Kavana is if you're reading, you're ready to do I'm talking about Din. By definition, that's what you're doing. It's going to open you up. That's going to self is going to create I'm talking about Din. You're creating new Nutsirufin that didn't exist before you, you said that. In other words, it's not that you, I shouldn't say that, you're not really creating new tzirf, you're getting new chayas, that tzirf, that already exists. So the, the moichin, the chayas of the tzaddik, of the, of the tana, exists in this dvar, in this member that he said, in this teaching that he said. Now the person that's, that's, that's learning these words and speaking those words, right? So speaking would be even uh, more animate. What you're doing is you're drawing down your own chayas and your own moichin into those words. Those words were said by Rebbe Kiva that had his moichin, and now you're drawing down your moichin, your chayas, your understanding into those words. So now there's a, a chibur. Not only is, is this, are these words becoming alive, but now there's a coming aliveness with you and Rebbe Kiva together. You're actually in dialogue. Right? It's not that Zerbi Kiva said something he said, it's, it's, it's other. No, we have his teaching. His chayas is there, it never, it does not, it never disappears. But when I'm learning it, I'm my chayas and his chayas that is, was said thousands of years ago, and chayas doesn't disappear. Right? It's potential. It's, it's, it's always there. Life, yeah, life is always there. It doesn't disappear in the universe. There's, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing to disappear. It's, but we're, we're realizing it. The Vinikra is Dafka Zucha Berucha. This is called Dafka Zucha Berucha. When the Zoya says, and Arizal says that when a person goes to Kivit Sadikin, a person's experience is Dafkus Rucha Berucha, the, the, the connection, the Dvekus between the Ruach of my, my Ruach and the Ruach of the person that I'm, I'm davening by. What is this Dafkus Rucha Berucha? Means that act, that's what it actually means. It means because my Chayas now becomes intermingled with the Chayas, with the Moichin of the Tzaddik that I'm learning his term. Lechem Chayas. What is When the Chazal tell us that when a person, when you say over a, a, a member from someone that was that passed away, was a spallow that we should say b'shem oimer. Why? Because his his lips. What is What does what kind of kever? There's, a, there's a, the person has no body there. It's thousands of years later. Where this is everything's rearranged. It's probably you know ten times over in different different elements. But soisid of kever means that the highest of the person never disappears. But it's just sitting there in potential. I just realivened it through my my learning. Now soy soy. There was a kever. Eventually, the chinus neshtap was like it's a kim. Ki debur a tzaddik should cover the talmud and the chayish like the amur. V'zeh aloy mechnasi and the chayish boyish loy say chayish boyish loy tzaddik should talmud the var. Nik is after the ruchah beruchah the soy soy there was a kever. Okay. This means that you should be learning their Torah at the kever. Okay. Okay. So that that yes, correct, correct, correct. So now I want to go to quickly to show you of. From the from the Ari. so we're gonna go back and forth and we'll go to Ari and then we'll, we'll understand this. So this is this is the Torah, the way the Balshaktiv is drawing it down, very clear. We're basically getting energetically from the Ari's out. Absolutely, exactly. Energy right from the Balshaktiv, the Vada, the Shaya, the Vada. That's exactly what we're doing. We do this after Zuchar. 
Exactly. So there's a, there's a, in Sharuch Hakodesh. In Sharuch Hakodesh, he talks about uh, generally about the idea of of different types of yichud and different types of things that, that people do. And what is basically shtat called kibbutz tzaddik? What is what a person does when they start when they they go to kibbutz tzaddik? What do you do in the kibbutz tzaddik? And um Chaim Vital himself in many places, but this is just uh, this is one safer, but it's also in, it's also in the in Shai Gulu and Agdam Lamaches. It talks about actually the Arizal coming telling him, This is what you should do go to this particular, this particular, go to the cave of Abaye, go to the cave of Rava. This would this you should do this yichud, you should yach yourself with this yichud. And and the, and Reb Chaim Vital says that he actually went and all of a sudden he felt like this tremendous koyach, this tremendous power that he had to go to this cave. And then later, in Shaharuch HaKodesh, he explains exactly how this, how this works. So the, the first Nakuda, the first Nakuda is like this. This is the first point. The first point is, there's, there's Shosha and Neshama. There's, 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 there's an Adam Kadman, the, the Shosha and Neshamas. The Shosha of all the soul, of all Neshamas come from Adam Kadman, this collective, collective being. It's actually a Benish Shweis Rabbah, but it's, the Rizal takes this in very, very, very detail. That there is, uh, there is basically this tayag mitzvahs. You know, the six hundred thirty mitzvahs. Tayag mitzvahs correspond to tayag varim. This ramach varim, shasagidim. The Zohar says, so it represents the body, the structure of the body. Now, every single every single gilgul of a person is one chelik of the six hundred thirteen. So a person doesn't misgalgal the entire structure of of Adam Kadman. But the chalik of, let's say, the right pinky, one chalik of that, which also has 613, 613 has 613, obviously it's millions, but each one has protein, 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 and it's, each one is like a, like a holographic image that has a 613. Uh, that mathematical sequence will support the... Uh, Mandelbrot's that Mandelbrot's Correct. So it's, it's, it's like structure, structure, and structure, and each one has a, a particular structure. So this is the idea of, of each, each neshama has some one shayish. So you say that my shayish neshama comes from a particular area within the in the, in the structure of, of Adam Kadman. What does it mean it comes in this particular area? And then you can ask, okay, so I don't know much Shesh and What does it mean? I know how does a person know Shesh and Shama? And it's kind of pretty simple. I don't say it's very simple, but it's pretty simple. Why? Because a person, if, if you know yourself, you know that there are certain areas in your life that you feel very connected to, certain Maisa Mitzvahs that you feel very connected to. Let's say a person feels chesed, a person likes learning, a person likes to daven. There's different, different areas general different areas that a person feels very connected and there's also certain challenges that you have that are very particular to you i'm not saying you're the only person that has these challenges but there's something very there's a certain type of trait that you're struggling with your own life let's say some people are judgmental some people get angry some people are whatever the mid is you have to use your own imagination there's, there's something out there so there is says that if you really delve deeply into, into your into your into your personality you'll recognize that there's something there's a sort to you there's a certain type of quality that you have in this world this is, this is a certain halachelach. If someone asks you, somebody, what do you think about this guy? What do you think about the uh, Chaim What do you think about? I would say, oh, he's like this. And that, that's his, that's his surah. That quality represents a certain quality within Adam Kabbalah. And okay, that's the Shoyosh Aprati. Now, there is neshamas that are pratim and there's neshamas that are more klolius. Okay? Some people, you look at them, you say, Yes, that's taka one. That's one facet of the personality, but actually they're 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 much more complicated or they're much more complex. They actually have you know the yeah, they're, they're very very kind, but sometimes they're very strict, or they're like they're very cerebral, but actually they're very spiritual also. You see people that, that are more more colonialistic to people that are more complex. That reason generally says that in this generation already from that reason forward, since the shamas are are mostly mixed up of many different shamas, people are much more complex. It's not like one dimensional. Like if you went a thousand years ago, you met a person on the farm in the, you know, in Spain, you know, working his land in little Cordova. Yeah, that, he was a very, this, he was really wonderful. Today you meet people, they're so complex. Everyone has uh, multiple stories and multiple personalities uh, for better or for worse. But the, the idea of Avon Shama Kolos is someone that has a clonistic, like a very clonistic, a very general thing. So the Arizal first says that in order for you to go to do is Dafka Surcha Barucha, really, my caver of a tzaddik to really connect with the tzaddik, you have to know what type of neshama that you have and what type of neshama that you're trying to connect with. Because what ultimately you're going to do is you're going to try to have a beginner's ibur of that tzaddik. 
That's going to be his dafka suchu You're going to have the ebor. We'll see soon. I'll tell you very quickly how this works. But in order for you to in order for you to go to get an ebor, you must have a connection to that person. You can't go. Let's say you're a very uh, cerebral person, and this and let's say there's no such person. But let's say you're a very cerebral person and you don't have any. You cannot have emotion at all. And you go to a tzaddik that was full of emotions. And you're down in the person's cave. Okay, you're down in the there's, 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 you know, there's, there's a there's a kundus uh, shtapas from the Mitzvah Rebbe that he talks about like five levels that you can, what, what's the reason to go down in the cave or tzaddik. And most of the levels are very simple because it makes you down with the Mokavana and it's a, it's a, it's a holy place. And you're thinking about the, the your tulas are more focused. It's like very simple things. The highest level is like this this, this level of his dafka suchu brucha. But generally, you're davening, it's, it's a mock and So you're, 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 you're going to daven much more with kavana, like you daven by the kaisa, you daven with shul, you daven with aron kodesh You're going to daven with much more kavana. But if, if you're going really to go on a very high level of his dafkas, which is what Kalav and Yifunah were saying, is you have to know who the tzaddik you want to be medavik to, because if, if you have to you have to connect to someone that's connected to you. Besides, he says, there is also when you come to Neshama Klalas. When you come to Neshama Klalas, there's always a hook where you can hop around, hop some type of connection to that tzaddik because it's a neshama that's called from the many different neshamas are there for you to connect. That's the first thing. Second thing is you have to know what you want. What, what's, 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 what, what's, what do you want? What, 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 do you, what do you, what do you, why do you want to the tzaddik? What do you, what do you need? What, what are you trying to gain? In other words, let's say you're struggling. Let's say you're a very uh, emotional person, right? But now your emotions feel very stilted or very out of whack, and it's you're not you're not you're, you feel stuck, whatever. So you you really want your ruach, this the spirit, not your nefesh, which is connected to your actions, not your neshama, which is connected to your moichim, intelligence, cerebrum, but really your ruach to be open. So you 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 want to misdavik to the tzaddik that that the tzaddik's ruach, and you know if that tzaddik's a very person that had a very open ruach. So you want to misdavik that ruach, that that ruach you should misabu that tzaddik. You should all of a sudden feel an open a pesach b'sav. Somebody should open up, and it doesn't mean that you become the tzaddik, but that you have an ebor that tzaddik. You feel like a special extra measure. You come out of the davening, all of a sudden you feel like it can last for five minutes. It doesn't say how long it lasts, but all of a sudden you feel like okay, I just daven and I feel really open now. I feel really connected. I can really, I can really connect to Hashem now. Right? That's obviously the the tachlis is not the, the, that I should be. So you you feel that you feel that connection. So the the when the Arizal, before he goes into Yehudim, and he talks about different Yehudim, he says, first of all, he says, which means I have to figure out like what's the connection between me and this tzaddik in the Adam Kadman seer, right? So okay, this is a person, this is a tzaddik that I really, or else you go to the others. This is why Yeshua, that's why Kalev goes to the others because the others and the Shamas calls. So and, and he, so and he's a child. So that's that's a whole it's a whole different cheshbon. But you're 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 going. You're trying to figure out what is there is a relationship in the other kadmans here between my neshama pratis and the neshama of the of the tzaddik. But he also uses very nice l'shoynas, and he says besides the chavim l'shatef nafshecha gamken imo iker akol etolit. So he goes through different kavanas, and the kavanas is basically that there is. Um, Okay, I'll tell you what the Gavonas is exactly. He says like it. Iker called Tolib should have him becheshe gadol nimrats of a simcha. The Iker gadol is that you should do this with a lot of cheshek, a lot of desire. You should be with a, with a, with a, with excitement, with, with passion, with joy. Begam bispashes achayim al nefesh mal kol bekol, and a level of bispashes that you're not so stuck in your your material body. You feel like a level of bispashes that you're you're transcendent of your body, and you feel a lot of joy and connection and and and. And with nimrod, so you can't come depressed and quetching, and this it's not going to work. You have to be open, and the cheshek, the, the, the strong, the strong desire to connect. This is like the, this is the kli, the kli that opens up this thing, this the, the, the vessel that opens up this connection. Is that? And, and by the way, it works. And it works. And no, it works within you with the people too. Absolutely. If I want to really want to connect with you, if I'm besimcha and I'm a nimrod and I'm happy to talk to you, and I'm, so I also I can be sympathetic to you in a very deep way. If I have the cheshek to connect you, that's ninety percent of the whole job. Then he goes into that. He talks about the Proteus. Is he talks about there is nefesh, ruach, and neshama. There are three madregas. So you're, 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 the way you do this, and it's it's different shemus. But I'm not going to tell you the shemus mamash because the shemus have to do with different yichudim of doing shem eke yutke vake veeke shem 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 vay veadna shem vay veshem shakai. Basically, there's something about the tzurufa tzurufa shemus. Where you machav and you take the name Yudke Vavke and you put 
you put in the letters Aleph Yud Hey. So that would be a tzirif. If you start with Yud Kei Vav Kei, you put in the letters Aleph Yud So Yud Aleph, right? You write, you have those eight letters together. That's called a tzirif from Yud Kei Vav Kei. So that's connected generally to the world of Bina, which is connected to the level of Seichel, the cerebral part. And then there's there's um, and then there's Yud Kei Vav Kei and then there's then there's 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 Adnai and Malchus. Adnai and Malchus is um, the Adnai Malchus also can be connected with Shem Avai and Adnai. So you do Yud Kevavke with Shem Alav Talav and Yud, right? Also the same tziruf, and that would be connected to the Ruach level and the Nefesh level. So you have Yud Kevavke Shem Eka, which is in Neshama, and Yud Kevavke, which is generally to Ferris, which is the Midas, the Ruach, connected with Malchus, which is Shem Alav Talav and Yud. Okay, so those are the three names you have to machavan, and you bring you bring a yichud between these names. So what the idea with the yichud is like this, because you want to connect your nefesh to the nefesh of the tzaddik, your ruach to the ruach of the tzaddik, and your neshama to the neshama of the tzaddik. How do you connect your nefesh to ruach and neshama? So the result creates like a, like a, I can't say, a combination, like a, a, a dial tone, whatever it's called. You know, you dial in the number. This is, a, this is, the, this is the, the number to call. This is the dial. But you have to do this with Cheshek, but that's the dial. The dial is you're in the in in the spiritual world, your your neshama, which is your seichel, is connected to the shem to, she, to bina in general. Okay, shemaka can also be connected to, to keser, but generally it's also connected to shem to bina. Bina is your understanding. So and yud kevavke would be would be like the connect the connection. So you're connecting my neshama to neshama and Then I do my ruach. My spirit, my my my, my emotions and the emotional and sadic, and my nefesh and nefesh and sadic. How do you do this? Is the this is the combination of yichud you're thinking in the mind? But the, the the thinking in the mind is not a magical technology. It's not like I do you. You okay, okay, but all of a sudden I'm up. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to actually think what are what what actually you're doing. It's not it's not tumuna. It's tvuna. Tvuna means it's a picture. I take a picture. This is the Swadish Mukabalam. So you just take a picture and everything works. I don't know. Maybe it does. I, but for us, I was Ashkenazic, right? So for us, that doesn't work for us. That doesn't, uh, we, we, the, the, the Ashkenazic Mukabalam say, no, Tmuna is not good. You have to do Tfuna. You have to actually understand the process. So understanding the process like this, I say, my Nisham, that's very simple. My Nishama is my Seichel, the way I'm thinking. What I'm going to do before I get to this, the person, the, the Tzadik I want to connect to, I'm going to learn a toy from the Tzadik. That's the, that's the bichim that that person I'm going to learn some atayr from them. I'm going to connect my neshama to his neshama. Then I'm going to think about a particular midah in terms of his midas, his ruach that this tzaddik excelled in. And I'm going to say, let's say the person had a lot of obvious so, okay? It's very generic. They had a lot of obvious so. I'm going to make a, a decision that now I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do something extra in the level of obvious so tomorrow. So now I'm connecting. I'm inspired by that tzaddik that did obvious so, and therefore I'm also. So there, that's the way I'm connecting my ruach. To the ruach of the tzaddik. Then I say my nefesh is the way I express the way I manifest in this world, which is the way of my asiya, my actions in this world. This tzaddik excelled in in the way, let's say, he always walked and said, you know, good morning to every single person. I don't know. He had very beautiful midas in terms of his his nefesh, the way mamish, the way he reveals himself in this world. I'm going to choose to do the same thing. I'm inspired by that tzaddik, so I'm connecting with nefesh. So I learn the person's Torah. I I understand that the person's midas. I understand the way the person connects on the, on the, on the physical world. So therefore, when I'm, I'm a chavan, I'm a chavan de shame. But while I'm a chavan de shame, if I'm a chavan de shame, I'm a chavan, what the shame represents means, means my neshama. Now my neshama, my seichel, I'm going to try, I'm going to learn to I'm a chazer, try to chazer to that's connected to the My ruach is connected to the ruach of the tzaddik. My nefesh is going to be connected to the nefesh of the tzaddik. That's the way I'm going to experience is dafkas rucha berucha. And when I experience is dafkas rucha berucha, I'm going to Beis Hashem have some type of ibur of that pechinas atzadik. One other small little point here is what the Arizal talks about. Not so much what the Malshantov actually alludes to the idea, and also what which which is the idea of sveisa doyvus bekev. Because there's something about doing when a neshama exists within this world in the physical world. So the neshama has kalim, has has uh, ways to to do things in this world. A neshama without a body doesn't have the vessels to create new memories. Doesn't have to create new new things. So whatever whatever the madriga that a person lives up until one hundred and twenty, that's the madriga that the person will exist on a spiritual realm. 
So it's just a continuation of the effects of you doing something. But, but the only place of Pchira and the only place of real Hiloch, right? In the Satan Mahatma, where there's real movement is only in this physical world because we can actually do something to transform ourselves so radically that we can create tremendous new, new, new things in this world. When a person passes on, that person doesn't longer have that cap- capability. But we do. So that's why if you're connected to this person, let's say you're a child, so that means you're, or if, if you're, I'm a child of somebody, that means automatically we come from the same Shasha and Shama, which means we come from the same root with an Adam Kadman. So therefore, when I do something in honor of my mother, someone that passed away, and I do the Kavana and say, I want to do this in honor of that person, I do that with that intention. What I'm actually doing is I'm causing, because they're living through me now, I'm causing an elevation of that person's Nishama. Right, something that's something that cannot be done without a goof, without a physical body. So therefore, when 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 the Davin Melech has a Ruch of Melech and when he's when he's mispala those that 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 so they should be slice of Davin with a right? That I should I should live a Ruch of Melech and Lama. I should exist eternally, and my my mouth should speak. Why is Davin Melech saying that? Davin Melech is saying that because he understands that the only way he can actually reach. Madragas that he's living, levels that he's reaching during this lifetime, even after he passes on, is when the Swiss is there is Bikever. When the someone's saying to Hillam, repeating the words of Davana Melech and saying with Vekas, that's how I was saying we're aliving those words of Davana Melech. Davana Melech is also having our name. Especially if you're doing something in honor of Davana Melech. Kilomar Davana Melech is the Atma you say in the Hiratsan. I'm saying as it should be as if Davana Melech said this. I'm having that Davana Melech have an aliyah, therefore. It's sort. I don't want to. It sounds funny, but it's sort of by causing this 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 elevation by this neshama that I'm connecting with now. The neshama, sort of, sort of, so to speak, owes me something. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't want to say that because that sounds very childish. But it's sort of like it's it's an automatic owing. It's like now we're part of the same journey. Like you owe yourself to be to get what you want. Let's say you want to you work to make money to learn whatever you want to do in this world. You 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 owe it to yourself to be that person. But now when you're joining this neshama that you just connected with, now it's owed to you from that neshama's perspective also as well, right? So automatically you start seeing bracha and shafa in, the, in this world also in a physical world because of this connection that you have. So to do that, you also enter with a certain kavana that you're doing this. That's why people, when they light a candle, there's a lushan that says, Hareni matlik is a lump already. I'm lighting this candle. Whatever language you say it doesn't really matter. And whatever you do, it doesn't really matter. It's just symbolic because lighting candles really has no muck in chazal, but it's it's a later, 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 later mucker. For the shayim already. What? To light it? No shamas. No, that's not a shamas, but to light a shamas for this person that passed away, it's no muck in chazal. But there's a bit of a high brings down already. It's, it's ready from the shayim, but it's, it's, it's doing something symbolic. I'm doing something positive in this world, symbolic, in honor of somebody. So therefore, when you say, I'm on any madlik, I'm going to light this candle in honor of this tzaddik, or let's say I will do better. You say, I want to connect them to the Shaman, the Shaman, the Ruach, the Ruach, and the Nefesh, the Nefesh. I'm going to learn this Torah, this Tzadik, in honor of that Tzadik. So not only Svaisa Dovah's Bekever, but I'm actually going to become his mouthpiece through which he becomes alive. Right? And this is the, this is the, this is, I just want to quote you this Lashon from the Rizal in Shara Kedusha Chelag Dalad, and we, and we learned this in Shur, as they call um, that the nefesh that you're speaking of your chais is being brought out in these words now become intermingled with the nefesh of the tzah, of the of the tana. So it's not just you're saying you're repeating words that were said. You're repeating words that are being said. When you say Amar Rabbi Kiva, when you say Abaya Zoh. You don't say Abaya Cheng is up. You don't say Abaya said thousands of years. No, you, Abaya is actually saying it right now. When you're learning Gemara, Abaya is saying it, Rav is saying it, Darizal is saying it, Baal Shanta is saying it, right? They're saying it presently because you're becoming the mouthpiece through which the Torah becomes alive. So if you enter with this Kavon, you say, I'm going to learn the Torah of this Tzadik with this Kavon to this Avon and Tzadik. It's, it's, it's a Kavon to connect with the Tzadik and therefore to bring down a, 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 a Shef, a, a Baruch of the Tzadik himself that he can have an Aliyah. And I'm also going to do my... Uh, my ruach, my emotions, some midah, in honor of the tzaddik. Are any madlik is alum? I'm going to light this candle, and I'm going to say, I'm going to light it to shame, name the name of the tzaddik. I'm connected my nefesh to nefesh of the tzaddik, my ruach to the ruach of the tzaddik, my neshama to the neshama of the tzaddik, in honor of the tzaddik. And when I do these things, I actually become the kli, I become the, the, the vessel through which that neshama becomes shoyer in this, in this world. And I'm bringing a chayas, I'm bringing a new life, a new vitality 
to, to that to that tzaddik, and that's the highest level of his davkas ruchah That's the, that's the madrega. What 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 the time, what, what the is saying is what kalev kalev wanted to reach. So kalev who had already a bechina of an ibur already. So so in order to sustain that ruach, that ibur that he had, the ibur of the tzaddik of Yehuda, he was able to mshteach and sasi akiv and sadikim, and he was he was davuk into that. Chai said he even got a dafka sucha brucha from the Madrega of Ramitzchuk Yaakov, and therefore Ruach Acheres he had a different Ruach Acheres, and he was able to sustain the challenge of the Meraglim, and he was able to bring down a lot of Rachas for himself and for Kuali Yisrael eventually. And that's uh, that's very uh, important to uh, hey, look at Sadiq. Are you going to say how does how does one how does one find the, the they talk to them. Which, which, like, we're like, like, oh, yeah, we're sorry. Like, like, yeah, you go and you know, people, people go all the world. So I said, the truth is this. Everybody goes everywhere. Like, no, the truth is this. You have to, first, you have, to, you have to have a good nose. You have to have, you have to have a good nose who to go to. That's one thing. I guess, first of all, like, you learn, like, you connect with some Correct, some correct, more, correct. More exactly. Really you learn the smart and you connect. So you see the Mahalacha Makshava, this person talks to you. Yeah. You know, and, and there's also Neshama's Klolis. Like, I think if you go to Neshama's Klolis, you go to the Raj, you go to the Tzadik and Neshama Klolis. I think that's that's Neshama Klolis. That's, that means every, you can mishaber in all the You can't go wrong. But you go to Neshama Klolis, you go into like a, a particular Tzadik, a little, some favor from the little shtetl, you should make sure that's like, you know, that's, uh, you found that guy, that person that's mamish, has the same struggles like you, work the same issues like you. Maybe the, the you know, the, the, I can give you some people that I can think that can work, you know, very protest to you. Jikiva, maybe. There's some, there's some interesting, you have to know who's like, you know, that's, that had the same, the same holochela like me. And uh, obviously they try to do better. And that's why I'll be solid to give me koyach about that madrega. So, yeah, you have to know yourself. You have to know who you, who's going. But then there's general tzadikim. General tzadikim is always, is always I love, uh, love Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's to learn the Mahalach and to learn the Bach. Yeah, it applies to everything. That's right. Whatever you're connected to, somebody's going to be into whatever science. Or, yeah, you can have any worldly thing. Yeah, that's why you, you can have many that's different That's where you get your from. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You got it's a different yeah. it every day. Every day, exactly. Yeah, different Madrigas. Yeah, it's very strange. And you can have it very much. That's why you say that it could be evil or all evil or toy. It's not, and every, obviously you say evil or evil toy. I mean, in between, there's many, many different levels. But we're trying to get to the evil toy. We're trying to get to the people that refine themselves on a very high mm-hmm. mm-hmm. to connect to that so we can feel we can be spiritual elevation. So there's two types in general. One that a person causes on his own. Oh, so that's what I'm saying. So in regard to Ibor, in general, it seems that from the toy Sari, in general, it's when a person is struggling sometimes. It's like a Bechin is a Matana. Uliya, uliya, ruchumar. It's like there's a ruchumar. The person, the Eishes sees, and you're struggling with this, and you feel some type of cloak, right? some type of clarity, something that comes into your head for a certain period of time, or you actually do intentionally. They say, I, I want to be misdavik to this. I need, I need this issue. This is something I need to resolve. This is something I need to connect to. And uh, so it's the So it's the sata. Exactly. You start from the, you start from the below. Or then anywhere else. So this during season that the that the their Torah should be. Should be said on there that, that the things from them should be should be should be spoken. Yeah, but even if you look at the, I don't know it's very hard to chazar toy from Yitzchak. I don't know what it's right. But I'm just saying, if you look at the, even the Nusra of the Shpizim, you're saying that Yitzchak is going to have a tevura. It's like you're saying today is a special. You're saying they're pro, they're so to say their proximity. Yeah, is on, stronger on that on that correct on that night. So they're. Like Ilu, like you're going to the camera. It's like it's. Yeah, yeah it's, by the way, I want to say that the talks about the Shabbos of uh, of Kibbutz Atikim, or as Dafka Sucha Berucha. The says you don't have to go to the camera. Yeah. 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 He doesn't say that he says you can do whatever you want. No, so, whatever you want. What's yeah, yeah. so the caver? He says because there's a shas, there's 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 a, there's a kiss of the chiyusa there. That's the place where the body is there. It right. automatically <laughs> trains the mind to think differently. There's other milas of the caver itself, but yeah, you can do Dafka Sucha Berucha of the Tzadik. Of course not, they don't have to look at the camera. But uh, yeah, these are a lot of things that are sort of like creates the room, creates the environment, creates the situation that you feel you feel more setting. connected, the setting. Also, there's something about the caver itself. The caver actually has a stronger chis of the, of the person that's still, that's the place where even the kiss the chis, there's some remnants of the person's life that's still present in the earth and the person is there. 
is a ration of the person that's present there. Um, so a coin can connect just this, just the yeah, 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 yeah. Good. And uh, <laughs> oh, you're a coin, yeah, oh, okay. oh, yeah, 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 it's the same thing. What's the last thing? Well, the cover I've ever been to. Yeah, they told me that really is very sure to get to. Yeah, because he's much less close. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, this the Rebbe's cap. Yeah, the Rebbe's cap is easy because he gave a good special card. That was yeah. a few times already, but uh, what's the weird experience? Yeah, you can go into the oil by the Rebbe's cap because they have walls. The mechitzas, the mechitzas up until the caver. There's a whole shell, even the caver is much smaller by mechitz. Yeah, you've done the chachil and you go into the oil. Yeah, technically, there's no roof. There's no roof. It was done especially in a way that you could actually enter. Of coin is a whole other issue because Kivit Sadiq made a matam. There's a big shaila if it's uh, how do you know? How do you know who's this? Who does the sign of Kivit Sadiq? And, mm. and uh, what does it mean? It's a lachik there and a lachik there. But uh, they told me in Eretz Yisrael that it's, it's there's so many the, uh, the, yeah. the Mars and Lafayla. Who knows how many other people are buried there over the years? Yeah, so they said absolutely not. Yeah, probably the whole full, the whole ground is full. Yeah, it's very shared to walk around. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yes, we can do it without the like every side. It's a tzaddik. The Agar the Pirke, the Dinner talks about, which it's a whole other conversation. We actually have a tzaddik, the of the tzaddik, to, to part to part of that idea, to imagine the, the face of the tzaddik and how looked how the tzaddik looks, a ratio of the tzaddik's creation. Because the Gemara says that. Uh, That's why Chabatsky yeah, had pictures of the Rebbe. Yeah, but today everyone has pictures of every Rebbe. So it's not like a Chabatsky thing anymore. But yeah, right. the Tzaddik, the tzaddik is, a, is, a big, is a big thing. Um, they go, they, 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 the the says that when when you're uh, at uh, when you're you chaser over a shmo you kill a bottle of shmo even connected when you chaser over somebody you kill a bottle of shmo even connected you actually have to mitzayin the surah of the person that said that surah that that word. so even when you learn the divrei tanoim if you do a little like the biography of the tana I think you'll get a, more or less an image of how the how the tana looks. If you think about it, you have to think about you have to think about who the person was, Rish Lakish, for example. Rish Lakish. We know a lot of things about the personality. Rish Lakish was very That's strong. Actually, yeah, but he was very strong and very big. So yeah, you, you can't imagine he was a puny little guy, right? He was probably as a big gibber. Rish Lakish was a very beautiful man, but he didn't have a beard. And uh, there's a, but he's a captain. It says, certainly, you can already, you can start imagining a, a captain without a beard, but very beautiful, you know. And I thought you can start with Tzai, if you really get into the quality of the person, you can come to Erech. And that, by the way, when, when it says you're Tzai, it doesn't mean you get it accurate. It means that you get it Erech. This is the way you connect with that Tzura. You sing a Nigan, whatever, you do all these things to, like, be connected. So it's all about imagination. It's a, it's a bad word. It's not a bad. It's quite chazir. It's a nice Yeah, yeah, you could call it quite You know, there's the the, the Martin of Luchan talks about the quite says that uh, the quite is like a horse. He says the horse has mila when you're riding the horse, but not when the horse rides you. Yeah. So you have to know it has to, the the quite chadimian. You know, the lashon of that read, the quite chadimian is there's. There's uh, there's 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 different levels. Chacham bin das, and then there's like the koyach is like the the outer expression of chacham bin das. Uh, the outer level, the outer level of moichin is koyach adim, koyach atzir. But you don't start with koyach atzir. In other words, you have a machshav, you have a you have a chacham, you have a bina, you have a das, and then you use your koyach atzir to fill it out. It's like it's the skin. He says it's the Darizah calls it the oil of Abba Abbasa. There's a Bosa given the Ratsam, Bosa given Ratsamas, Bosa given Ratsamas correspond to Chachm bin Adas, and then there's the oil of Abba Abbasa, the skin on top of that, that's a Koyach Hatsiyah. So if you can't eat skin, the skin has no, 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 there's nothing to sink your teeth into. It's the skin, skin deep, Mamish, it's skin deep. But if you have skin on top of the oil of Abba Abbasa, then, then it makes something beautiful. So you have, you have to know how you use your Koyach Hatsiyah. It's more like imagination and, 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 uh, and imagination no. and. It's outer a fantasy. Outer fantasy. Yeah, it's, oh, so it's sort fantasy. Of like, sort of like fantasy is the good word because it's not fantasy. Fantasy right. is connected to the nachash. It's connected to the oil of the nachash. And all that is the world of that. That's fantasy. Fantasy is skin deep. It's like what you see is, is real. Taking a person away from. It takes a person away from the world. Takes a person away from the seichel. 
The person lives in the fantasy. It's, it's, it's not in the person. The person that uses the Koyach is a person that lives so fully in the thing that he also can imagine it. You understand? It's a different. It's different. You're yeah. so present in what you're experiencing. Yeah, yeah you're so present in the experience that even the even the outer shell of the Koyach now fills in that experience. So it's 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 seichel and it's nimrat and it's simcha and it's cheshek and it's understanding and the dimin is like the outer shell that fills that yeah, fills up. This. Someone explained. Someone always explained it like I had the house like that. We didn't see it, but you could start imagining approximately how the house looked. First was to just start thinking about castles and it has no shine as to whatever. So the the right. person wants to transcend if a fall that that he has, <clears throat> so he imagines himself. How his life is, if, right? Know, so yeah, but you first have to use your seichel. Say, what would it be? Right. Take, what would be you have to have the rot. You have to have the rot. You have to have the cheshek. You have to have the seichel to understand what that means. Then you can look at it. Yeah, so it's a grounded in, in, in a reality. It's grounded in, yeah. So let's see it. So it's, a, it's the skin of the meat. It's the oil of the boss. It's different. So that's why some people say it's fat. It's not, okay. Imagine this. It's a fat. So one person has dimyonis shav. One person is, is, has it's, it's, it's you're a very holy tzur. It's, it's a whole different thing. Right. It's a whole different thing. You have to know how to use the correct imagination in the correct way. But yeah, it's called the Karachas. You have to know how to ride the horse. The horse doesn't ride us. You ride the horse means I'm a rider. I'm, the, I'm riding the horse. And I, get, I move the horse in exactly the direction. More shall than love. Exactly. Otherwise, the horse runs. I sit in the middle of the field. And I'm and the That's the horse riding. riding. There's a safer call of visualizations. In exactly. There's a safer call of visualizations. Yeah. In that I would recommend it. I have you have it. Have it. Yeah. about riding a horse when you, yeah. when you turn your head. Yeah. Without doing anything to the horse, turn your head. Yeah, the horse turns it also. The horse, the horse will go the way you look. Is that true? You're talking about anecdotal evidence. No, I mean, it was on a horse, oh. and the lady told me. That really? I told me. She's like, how does this horse look? He follows the direction of the person. There's a bomb. There's a bomb crazy, 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 crazy thing. That's probably a horse that's trained to follow. Well, yeah. I, without Our any, shuttle. without any, without any manual manipulation. Yeah. A few years ago, when I got the book, horses yeah. eyes are all right. Australia right. down below. Right. Yes. So so look, here. look, I live right here. Um, oh, on red, behind the barn shoe. Oh, on co farm. Where is the co farm? The burger. What's his name? Um, the burger. What's his name? Gerber. 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 Oh, Gerber. you live seven. You live that way. The shed back. Here. Oh. Wow. And I saw a guy that looked just like you. Yeah. I was just reading the book. It can be he lived here, whatever. And it was me. Huh? <laughs> I just saw you live there. It was four years ago you lived there, right? I was walking in the street. That's also a hint. I don't know why I thought you lived in Australia when I read the book. In my. <laughs> Maybe so much not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, See, that's 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 and someone recommended very interesting book. I bought it. All right. Very nice. See so down by Sam by Gerber. Yes. And so everyone should get visualizations and imagery. It's a safer from Rob Pinson. And uh, to take this uh, that much further. All right. Oh, yeah. What's your name again? Leap Con. Sapno Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah.